Miss Elise here, coming to you live from my studio slash bedroom. Today I'm playing a bass guitar, so, I, so that all of you rock and roll bassists can learn a little something new today. Um, the scale that I just played for you is called a C major scale. That's what we're going to focus on in this lesson. Um, can you say that C major scale? Good. Uh, that's what you just heard, the C. much slower and work on it together. First we want to make sure our basses are tuned up. The bass guitar is tuned the same as the electric guitar, although there's only four strings instead of six. So it's the same tuning as the bottom four strings of, of a guitar. So we have E, A, D, and G. So let's tune those up. I got my little clip-on tuner here. My head stuck. It looks like this. When you turn it on, if you put it on your headstock, it reads the vibrations and tells you if it's in tune or not. So let's go ahead and tune up here. And if you don't have one, you can match with your ear to the notes that I'm playing. So we have E, A. if you need to and tune up, but we'll get started here. Uh, so again, the first note of the C major scale, I'll actually show you, I wrote down the C major scale for you too. It's all quarter notes we're going to play. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And then we'll go right back down again. So first note, C. So let's find our C. We're going to play it with our second finger, third fret. scale we're going to do a little walking movement with our first two fingers on our strumming hand. So play your C with, on your strumming hand with your first finger. Then we're going to find our D. D is the fifth fret of your A string with your pinky and you're going to strum that with your second. So it's, it goes like this. C, D, C, D. Play it with me. C, Next, you can play that with your first finger, second fret of your D string. Remember, we're alternating these strumming fingers too. So go back to the C. C, D, E to play it with me. C, D, E. And we have F. So at your E, just move a half step up. D string. So we have C, D, E, F, 2, ready and play. C, D, E, F, and we have G. G is your fourth finger, fifth fret of your D string. G, A, try that, G, 
might as well throw it in there before we do the whole thing again. So when you're on your B here, you want to go up to C. That's with your, so sorry, B, with, B was with your third finger, fourth fret, if you didn't catch that one. And you're just going to go one half step up, one fret up. the whole scale. Um, so now I want to do it actually to a metronome. So I'm going to get my app out. I There's a free app in the App Store called Metronome 60. I highly, re highly recommend getting it. It's very easy to use. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and open that up. So I'm going to set it to this tempo. This is 60 beats per minute. So it's going to sound like this. F and so on. But once we get to the very top, that high C, stop this for a moment. Um, we get to our high C, I want us to do, to repeat it, going descending, going down. So when we get to if you don't get it the first time. If it's a little too fast, that's okay. You can work at any tempo on your own. Uh, we're just going to do it at this speed for now and see if you can play along. So get ready on your C. One, two, here we go. C. take that C major scale but work with some different rhythmic patterns on our strumming hand. Um, so now that we've learned that we can do some different patterns here. That'll be useful when you're learning songs because a lot of songs the bass parts have different things going on with your strumming hand over here. So stay tuned um, and we'll, we'll get learning with that in the next video. Thanks again everyone. Bye.